uh, welcome to the next spark scenario uh, in this particular scenario uh, it's not a input and output data frame this particular scenario involves a question showing a data frame in the table this also involves a window functions window is very very important with respect to the scenarios so let me show you the input data frame first then output data frame uh out, sorry output data frame is not available i'll show you the problem statement and later on i explain what is the expectation of the output right this is the query statement and the data if you see this problem statement write a query to find salary increment in the year for each employee right so what they are specifically asking is write a query to find the salary increment that means how much uh the that mean how much salary has been increased per year so how to depict the requirement see imagine i mean you can you can think for a while pass this video and think and then you can play it so that you can match whether your understanding in the my explanation would would, would be the same now they are they are asking write a query to find the salary increment in the year for each employee so for example if this is my data imagine take only this employee all right take only my my this employee so for this employee the first year salary was to the I mean 2018 the salary is 60000 the second year it has become 70000 in the last year it has become 80000 right so how much increment happened for this employee from 2018 to 2019 is nothing but 10,000, right? So it becomes 10,000. What about between 2020 to 2019? So it is 10,000 increment, right? For the second employee, 2018 it is 60,000, 2019 it is 65,000. So the increment is 5,000. For third employee, I mean, sorry, um, I think, uh, yeah, it is 5,000. Then what about the next year? Between 2019 to 2020, there is no increment at all. So it is just zero. Now for the third employee, between 2018 and 2019, the salary increment is just 5,000. So this is what they're expecting as an output. We need one extra column here. That's it, right? Um, I can call it as salary diff. That's the requirement, right? So it's quite a good, good requirement. Uh, the reason the window functions is involved here would be great if you run window functions. So in this particular scenario, I have to find a salary increment in the each and every year. So for every year, how much incremented has been done, you may have to write here. How to find it, right? How to get such kind of a, solve the such a kind of a requirement, right? So, so okay, let's talk about the solution approach. See, the question is not about finding a solution. It's all about how you approach that requirement, right? Now, imagine in this particular scenario, right? If to find a salary diff, that is the difference between, right? The difference between the this year and the previous year, and this year and the previous year, this year and the previous year, and this year and the previous year, and the previous year. for example this year and the previous year so if i want to be, could find the difference between all this what you have to do is i have to apply a window lag function for example i'll come to it before that if i make if i can have an opportunity to make the last year's salary equal to the next year's salary and that means you know, in the same row last year's salary to the I mean, in the same row like this, imagine for the first file, for the first employee, right? And for the second employee, last year's salary to the current, I mean, to the next year equivalent row. This is last year's salary, 2019 salary. I'll make it as a equivalent row, right? And last year's salary to the equivalent row. If I, if I can, if I find this as a data frame, if I found this as a data frame, 
I can easily perform the diff operation, minus operation or subtract operation. I mean to say, I have to find a way to make a last year's salary in the same row of the next year. If I can achieve like this, right, I can easily perform a diff operation, that is subtract operation. How I can perform a 70,000 to 60,000? I can perform diff, 10,000 I'll get, 80,000 to 70,000, 10,000 I'll get, 65,000 to 60,000, here I'll get, 65,000 to 65,000, I'll get the difference, 65,000 to 60,000, I'll get the difference. You can ask me, Sai, why this is empty? These are empty, these are empty. These are obviously empty because that's a first year, right? If we know the previous year, we'll find the difference. It's, since it's a first year for every employee, for, 2000, for the first employee, 2018, for all the employees, 2018 is the first year. So there is no data for it. So I, to make find the difference, I have to make the data, if the previous year data should come same in the, in the same row in the data frame so that I can easily perform the diff operation, minus operation between these two. 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 Now, how can I perform this? How can I find a way to get the previous year's salary equal to the next year in the same row? How can I get that? I mean to say, for example, next pre last year's salary. Right? I want to create a data frame first with the last year's salary. That is the minute we have to think we have a window lag function, right? We have lead and lag, but we have an SQL window lag function. How to perform a window lag function? So my data frame is ready. I'll give the code in the description of that scenario. So don't worry. Uh, you need not to read any file. I'll just, prog I'm programmatically creating the data, so no problem. So this is my data frame. This data frame is clearly available with me. Now what I have to do, I have to create a window function now. What is, let's create a window first. First, let's create a window. Later on, we'll apply it. In, S, in Spark, we have to create a window first. And then I have to apply it. What is a window? All right. So this lag function must be applied, right? This lag function must be applied for every row, I mean, for every employee, right? This lag function must be applied for every employee ID. What is that? What I mean is, now take the first employee. This is one window. Every employee ID is one window. Uh, this is the second window. This is the third window. Imagine three windows I take, right? We call it as a window, right? Three windows I have. Now in this window, I want to window every employee ID. Right? I have to window every employee ID first. So I have, we, in other words, we call it as a partition by the employee ID. Then what I, what I'm, why, what I have to plan right now? Now to, I have to design a window fun, window, but you need to be very clear to which column you have to create a window. That means you are depicting something to which column. Here, employee is a column. We are finding. Hey, previous years of the first employee, second employee, third employee. So my window has to get created for employee ID. My window has to get applied for employee ID. Employee ID is the window area. I repeat, employee ID is the window area. For every employee ID, we have to find the next year like that. So every employee is a window. So I have to, for every employee ID, right? How a window function can happen? I have to write partition by employee ID. Look at this code, right? Partition by employee ID. So that it becomes a window. Then what I have to do, I'm considering it as a window. First, I have to consider the window, then I'll apply the line. This is the window. Now, partition by employee, yes. Next, salary, I have to create a ascending order or you can, you can do one thing. Order, right? Order by year. Yes. Now, the question is, 
partition by employee ID. That means every partition gets created in the table. That means the first employee, second employee data alone, third entire employee alone. That would depict for this basically, right? Then order by ID. Then only it's better to it it will just order it. So in ascending order because we have to find the lead function. So it's better to order it perfectly in the year 2018, 2019, and uh, 2000. 18 to 9. So we have to order it. So we have to make the data frame like this. What I mean to say is currently the data frame like this, very, very empty, very simple. But you, if I, if I apply the current, if I want to make this as a window and do, uh, and I uh, have to order it properly, partition by employee ID, order by ID, then the data frame will be like in the virtually it will create like this. Window gets created for each level, each employee ID. See, one 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 in one window, two 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 in one window, three three in one window, which is a partition by. Next, I have ordered the year, so that I can easily find the lag function. First, you have to create a window function, window definition. How can I create a window? Well, window spec is equal to. Let's create a window first. Make the data frame like this. Later on, we'll perform the lead function. Later on, we can perform the uh lag flags and everything like we can perform whatever you want but first let us make the data window data frame a window so that it's, it's just creating a data frame like this. i have to create a window for every employee now you have let's create the window first make the data frame window the window dot w caps okay dot partition by i'm doing a window on every employee id right every employee ID. make this possible then make it as i have to make it order by year so that my table will become a window now i'm up, i'm making this as a window first right first i created a window that means like uh, we are going to apply this window to this data frame now it's done now how to apply to this data frame now have a check now well result df is equal to df dot with column i'm up, i'm doing it as a last year's salary right i will i'll get the last year's salary that means i for every window i'll get the previous salary in the right side of the data frame i mean this is for the first first employee this is for second employee and this is for third employee now with column then perform lag operation lag right salary lag the salary right with one that means one limit just before then make it like this. just just the before one one I mean uh for 70 friend 70,000 get 60,000 for 80,000 get 70. if i took salary of two 60,000 will come to 80. so not required we are just comparing with the previous data so previous year so make it as lag here apply the window function dot over apply this window spec so now check this what we call as a window function now what i'm doing for this data frame i'm creating one salary with a lag of salary of one okay i'll do the salary but for which partition the partition must be applied for one employee ID alone then two employee ID alone then three. So for every employee ID, I have to find a way to create a window. So this is done. Now result df dot show. Now first let's get the salary, extra salary. Yeah. I mean the previous year salary as a state of the next year's salary in the same data frame. Have a check here. So uh that's it isn't it so last year salary has come check check about check this check this so here the last year salary has come sixty thousand has come equal to seventy thousand in the same data frame column seventy thousand has come here this is for the first window for the employee id the got done now it's for okay it should have shuffled but that's okay for third employee id sixty thousand has come here this is another window for third the next applies for the second employee right so if you see 60,000 has come here, 65,000 has come here. Now it's so easy for me to perform diff operation, right? 
So if if you see this data frame clearly, I can in the same row I can perform a minus operation, right? Seventy thousand minus sixty thousand. I'll get the difference. Eighty thousand minus seventy thousand. I'll get the difference. So let's do that. Now I'll perform. Well, salary diff is equal to result df dot with column. I'm giving it as salary underscore diff, right? Dot, right? I mean, we can perform EXT here. Simply, it's very simple. Salary minus last year's salary. That's it, right? Here, you'll don't worry, I'll get as null because I don't have previous year. So I'm getting as null. You can ignore that. No problem. So salary diff dot show. Now, this is just a difference. Nothing else. This is just the difference, right? So you can easily find that. Later on, I'll do a small select so that you can easily understand. Now, let's get the difference of the salary first. See, we got the salary diff now. 70,000 minus 60,000, which is a previous year. 10,000 is a difference. 80,000 minus 70,000. 10,000 is a difference. Then, for the third employee, 65,000 minus 60,000. 5,000 is an employee. It's a it's just different. This is not no problem. So 65,000 minus 60,000, 5,000. For the second employee, it seems there is no increment at all. See, there is no increment between these two years. So 65,000 minus 65,000, that becomes zero. Now I'll just uh, select it properly so that for you it's easy to understand. In the select, I'll, I'll select only four columns, right? In an order, proper order, employee ID, salary, Right, uh, I'll make, make it as year here, then I'll have salary, then salary diff. This is a final data frame. That's it. Let's get the final data frame now. This is our raw data frame, right? This is a, I found the last year's salary using a lag function 60,000 got here, 70,000 got here, then salary diff. See. We got the, by 2019, 10,000 has incremented. 2020, 10,000 has incremented for the first uh, employee. Between 2018 to 2019, 5,000 got incremented. For second employee, uh, between 2018 to 2019, 5,000 got incremented. But for this guy, between 2019 to 20, nothing has incremented here. So it is showing it as zero. That's it. Do this scenario because we have so many window functions, right? Any issues, connect to the doubt session. In the video description, I have posted the code. Thank you, all of you.